The CDC is investigating a case of monkeypox in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's the first case in the U.S. this year, but clusters have been reported this month in several countries, including the United Kingdom. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz joining us now with what much more of what we need to know about this. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever heard yeah. of this before now. Me neither, guys. Monkeypox is a potentially serious viral disease, but it is rare, especially here in the U.S. Health experts tell me this is a very low-risk situation for the public. The CDC and Massachusetts Health Department investigating a single case of monkeypox in a man who recently traveled to Canada. But how the patient was infected with this rare illness remains unknown. Dr. Cameron Wolf is an infectious disease physician with Duke Health. We don't typically see monkeypox. This is an unusual infection for the United States. Um, this is a much more common illness typically associated with return travel from folks who may have visited Africa. Health officials are currently watching growing clusters of monkeypox in Europe, particularly in the UK, Spain, and Portugal. What's different here is that we're getting person to person transmission. That doesn't typically occur. So, what exactly is monkeypox? It's not typically at all associated with monkeys, it's, it's an animal. Uh, virus that's that's commonly seen in a, in a whole variety of, of wild animals. In humans, it typically begins with flu-like symptoms and swelling of the lymph nodes and progresses to a rash on the face and body. Infection can last two to four weeks. Dr. Wolf says the vast majority of patients do recover. The, the nearest equivalent way of thinking about it is that this is something that's akin to uh, shingles or chickenpox for an adult. Um, so it certainly causes lots of skin lesions, and the skin lesions can be um, infectious to people who are uh, in immediate sort of close contact to those lesions. Dr. Wolf encourages people not to worry about monkeypox, but just be aware. I think what needs to be said is that this is one case in an entire country, and that that remains incredibly rare. And no cases of monkeypox have been identified in North Carolina at this time. The state health department tells me they are closely monitoring the situation and developing guidance for clinicians while they wait for more information from the CDC.